Hello learners, we will be discussing multivariate model of distress prediction in this video. Here we use various accounting ratios to predict the financial health of the company or we can also say that we can use this model to predict financial crisis in a company. As the name suggests, this model uses number of variables to predict distress in a company. Under this model, various accounting ratios are used to calculate a standard index which then is compared with individual company's index and decision is made whether a company is a distressed company or not. Here in this model, only those relevant accounting ratios are calculated which are considered effective for distress prediction. Now when we know the basic premise of this model, we move on to the steps which are involved in this model. In the first step, a number of companies are randomly chosen and while choosing these companies, we make sure that we have a mix of both type of companies failed and non-failed or we can say that we have a mix of distressed and non-distressed companies in the following step we calculate all the accounting all the relevant accounting ratios to obtain various economic conditions of the companies such as liquidity long-term solvency profitability etc. These accounting ratios are calculated with the financial information of the selected companies and we select these companies because these are considered effective for distress prediction. In the next step a linear function is derived as shown in this slide here in this linear function Z is a discriminant index that is being calculated here. All the axes are the accounting ratios that we calculated in the second step. All the A's stands for the coefficient of accounting ratios. In the following step, we calculate the z-score with the help of the linear function that we derived in the previous step. Now we compare this calculated z-score with individual with the z-score of individual companies. If the sample company's z-score is higher than the calculated z-score, then the company is considered as non-distressed company. On the other hand, if the z-score of the sample company is lower than the standard z-score, it will be considered as a distressed or failed company. Edward I. Altman used this model to develop a multivariate model of corporate distress prediction which is termed as Altman z-score. That we will be discussing in the next video. Thank you.